Hello, my beautiful butterflies. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. As you can see here, it's well overdue, but I'm going to share with you the few things that I picked up from the Nordstrom's anniversary sale. Now, you guys, with me in this sale this year, I wasn't excited at all. And not because Nordstrom's didn't have the things I want. It's simply because my lifestyle has changed drastically. I have retired. And with me being retired, I simply go on vacations or I'm in the home or I'm taking walks. So me, lately, I've been doing a lot of Lululemon shopping and I don't have the need to buy all the things from the sale that I typically buy during the anniversary time. You know, when I was working, yes, I was buying sweaters and clothing and all those things. I would do those hauls with you guys. But it's just simply a lifestyle change for me. And I don't even need any of those things. I actually now need to downsize, clean out all of my closet, get rid of a lot of things because it is so much and it is so overwhelming. And now I'm just wearing the same old, same old things. <laughs> so if you can understand that, you guys, this sale this year was really, really different for me. I literally only bought six items. And when I used to shop these sales, I would just have so much stuff. And I just don't have the need for all of that anymore. What I have right now is still overwhelming for me. So, with all that being said, you guys, I'm going to share with you the six items that I purchased from that sale. I didn't even need these, except for two. I really, really wanted two of these items, but, you know, I really didn't even need what I purchased. But, you know, your girl can't stop doing a sale. And... Two of the items that I got wasn't even on sale. It was just because I saw it and I was like, oh, okay, this will work good with my lifestyle now. So anyway, with all that being said, y'all, let's get into it. Now, these first two items will be no surprise to you guys because it's something I talk about here all the time. I've done reviews on this item. So when I saw it come back in the store and they had two more colors that I didn't get the first go around, I end up picking up the two colors that I didn't get the first time. So let me just show you because you'll know what I'm talking about. So <laughs> they're my beautiful Longchamp little La Pliage bags, you guys. So as you know, I rave about these bags. And as you can see, that was the price during the anniversary sale of these two. So when I walked in that store the day I can shop, which was, I was an influencer. I saw these two. I knew they were immediately going to run out. So I grabbed the two that I didn't have. Now, if you watch my channel, you know I have the black one and I have a burgundy one, which they call grape. When these first came out, I did videos on them. You guys, sharing them with you, how great of a bag it was because... They are just so durable. You don't have to worry about them. You don't have to baby them at all. You know I use the larger size ones when I travel. I just love the Longchamp bags. So, during that time, I had got two. And then, y'all, these bags were discontinued. I don't know how Nordstrom got these. I don't know if they were overflows from before or how they 
were able to get them in this sale this year, but whatever it was, y'all, I didn't care. I just wanted the other two colors that I didn't get previously. So previously, again, I'll share with you, I got a black one, which is right here, y'all, and I carry this one all the time. That's my black one. I've done a video on it. And here is my burgundy one as well, right here, if you can see that. So anyway, I've done videos on these again. And I absolutely love them, you guys. They are quick grab and goes for the weekend. You just throw your things in it. Very carefree bag. And they pack a punch. So, naturally, when I saw them on the sale, they had the taupe the day I went, the navy, and the black. Well, I already had the black. So, I picked up the taupe and the navy now let me just say i do have this bag in the cur version which is their leather version if i'm saying that right in pink and y'all i have never used this one i don't know what it is about this pink one maybe i'm just scared thinking i'm gonna get something on it i don't know i just haven't reached for this one since I purchased it. You see it still has the dust bag in it. The strap inside. It has that signature inside right there. If you can see that. With the beautiful gunmetal hardware on here. I have never wore it. So I think I'm going to just sell this one off. Because you know it's just not getting any use. I don't know. I am drawn more toward these styles here with that material, you know, that's easily wipeable, all of that jazz. So, yeah, the pink one probably is going to go for sale for sure. I have another one that's um, in this uh, wicker style that I'm probably going to get rid of as well two um along with some other bags because these bags right here probably are going to be the only bags contemporary that's going to stay in my collection y'all because i just have to be honest with myself i'm a luxury fiend i love luxury bags i can adore um, contemporary bags too, but they're just not my jam. With the exception of my travel bags that I have that I love and my longchamp. Other than that, I'm not reaching for any of the coach bags, none of that that I have here. So yeah, I'm probably just going to list all of those things for sale because it is no use for them to sit here and collect dust. But I went on a long tangent, y'all. Sorry about that. But anyway, these are the two newbies that I picked up. So that's two of the items that I got from the sale. Now, the next item that I picked up, you guys, they had these on sale. But your girl didn't get the sale pair. Because when I went to try them on... I found another pair that felt more comfortable than the pair that they had on sale. So these are the Birkenstocks. I have always adored these shoes from afar. But then when I look at them, I was like, they make me look so old, y'all. <laughs> the way I be hurting these days, I don't even care anymore. So... <laughs> So I have just come to the conclusion that, you know, even though this is not the most appealing shoe in the world, it feels nice on my foot. So for that being said, you guys, I got a pair of these and you see they're still brand new. <laughs> I got a pair of the Birkenstocks soft footbed 
So when I was in the store shopping the sale, I tried on a leather version of these. As you can see, I got the, I guess this is called the new buck or the suede version of it. But that's the one that felt most comfortable with me. For some reason, because I have wide feet, the leather strap kind of like cut into my feet and I didn't like that. So this little soft version right here was perfect, you guys. I haven't even worn them out yet or buckled them up. And then the bottom part of it felt better as well. So I got a size 39, as you can see there. This color is called taupe. It's a very neutral color, but as you can see there is the soft footbed. Um, so yeah, that's what I picked up. So I end up not even getting the sale deal on these because they had leather ones. I got this style here. And there it is, right there. You guys, so. And you guys all know how this looks. It just buckles up. But this soft bed right here just feels so much more comfortable for me. So I cannot wait to start wearing these. So, yeah, you guys. Welcome to my new lifestyle. <laughs> comfort, 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 and vacation. <laughs> That's the mode I'm in right now, y'all. So, yeah, I picked these up. So, that was the third item I picked up. Now, for the fourth item I picked up, as you can see, another pair of shoes. And when I saw these, you guys, again, they weren't part of the sale. But let me explain my reasoning for buying these shoes. So, with me now, you all know that I cannot wear heels anymore due to my condition. So, for me, everything has to be flat. If it's not comfortable, it's not going to work. So, the little times that I do go out, I might go to a concert or, you know, dinner out, whatever, with my husband. Um, I have to find things that are comfortable for me. Now, there are occasions where, you know, it calls for something dressy, but I, your girl, still can't put on a heel, okay? So, I found this sneaker that looks dressy from Chloe, and when I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, I have to have that. And y'all, this shoe is so comfortable that I'm even considering going back and buying the cream color because they do have this in black, navy, and cream. And y'all, look at this shoe. Isn't she cute? She's a moment, y'all. I'ma tell you, she is a moment. It is a lace sneaker, y'all. So when I have my little dresses on, I can wear this cute little lace sneaker and still look dressy without a heel. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I miss my heels, but your girl just can't do it no more. I can't, I can't. Look at the back, y'all. This is called the Chloe Lauren Sneaker. And again, this sneaker is so comfortable and it's so right up my alley that now I want to get the cream color because I just think this could still elevate my little outfit and I can still be comfortable and a little dressy as well. So, yeah, you guys, I picked this up. Definitely wasn't on sale. Oh, I think this sneaker, I will link it on the Nordstrom site, but I think it, it's five something, you guys. But I look at it, I can still look a little chic, you know, put together with my sneaker on. I just don't have a heel. So, 
when I saw this one, y'all, it was just like a no-brainer for me. It really, really was. So I think it's cute. You guys tell me what you think about it. And if you have some suggestions for me, I will gladly take them. Just find me something comfortable and something a little dressy. I have all the sneakers that I can wear to the gym and walking and all of that. I got all them, y'all. But something a little bit more dressy, I don't have. So that was my reason for picking up this Chloe pair. So, yeah, it just was unfortunate for me. It wasn't part of the sale. <laughs> but I still love them, y'all. It's, it's worth it. So, yeah, have those. And let me just show you, like any luxury shoe, you get you know, your little booklet, you get, Chloe gives you two dust cloths here and they do say Chloe on it. And these feel really nice and they drawstring on both sides as well. So these are nice to have in there when I'm packing them to take with me on vacation. So just wanted to share that with you as well. You do get all of that. So that was the fourth thing I bought. Okay, guys. So the last two items I have are, what have I been doing? Traveling. So they're luggage pieces, you guys. So I'll insert clips of when I was in the store and all that so you can see my experience um, just looking at things. But I wanted to get two new luggage pieces and they had two different ones on sale that I was looking at. So they had the Bez, which is the B-E-I-S, which I have some of their travel items as well, but I didn't want the ones that they had on Nordstrom's website. I wanted that Barbie collection that came out and I was so upset because I overslept when that thing launched and then it sold out really quick and it never restocked. So then my second choice were these ones by Vacay. So I was going to get the Vacay set anyway and then get one piece from the Barbie collection. But again, that collection sold out on their website really, really quickly. So when I was in Nordstrom's, this vacay, I was surprised, sold out too. Because when I was in there, I'll show you a clip. I went across the hot pink one, which I was like, do I want that or don't I want that? Because if I'm going to get the Barbie pink one, then I'll get the vacay in the green. Where well, the Barbie sold out really quick. So then I went back trying to get the vacay in the pink from when I saw it in the store. Now in the store, they only had the smaller one. They didn't have the larger one at all. But even when I went back that next day to see if they had the pink one still available, y'all, it was gone. It was sold out online. I even waited until the sale was available for everyone and went back on Nordstrom's to see if they restocked because, you know, sometimes they'll do that. They'll have a certain limit for, you know, the early shoppers. And then when everybody is available to shop, then they'll restock. That wasn't the case with this. The vacay... That pink one never restocked. And then I was like, can I just get hold to one pink one? I don't have to have both. So I'll just have maybe the larger one in green and the smaller one in pink. Could never get my hand on a pink one. And that's okay. Because I am going to get a pink one, another pink one from Bez. But it's not the Barbie one. It'll be a lighter one. Anyway, that's beside the point, y'all. I'm getting off on a tangent here. But the thing is, I needed to get me some new suitcases because y'all, with all this traveling, they have been tearing my stuff apart. Let me tell you. Now, y'all know how much I love my butterflies. But those suitcases just wasn't durable enough for my traveling. I have one that is. My one butterfly one that's like a blue one my brother gave me 
it could stand the test of time. But the other one that I had that was like a white and a pinkish, I'll throw a clip in if I can show you. When I went to go get my bag, y'all, the whole darn wheel was missing. That happened during my Aruba trip. When I traveled to DR, my husband and I had two black matching luggage pieces. And when we got there, the handles were missing. Y'all, they just toss yourself all over the place. So <laughs> anyway, I wanted me two new luggage pieces. So I end up getting both in green. These are the nice spinner ones. So hopefully, I'm keeping my fingers crossed that these will be okay. And this is why I say I won't get a Louis Vuitton piece unless I can get a carry-on that's always going to be able to fit on that plane with me. If it's not, and you know sometimes at the last minute, if it's full and they say, oh, we got to check your bag, and then they mess up my Louis Vuitton bag, oh, your girl will be upset. I don't get upset over these little things. But... <laughs> But yeah, over a Louis Vuitton bag, I would be like, mm -mm, no, no, you're not going to do that. So, <laughs> and you know, the airline don't care. They're just doing a job, child. They ain't throwing these pounds of bags that we stuff. They don't, you know, they don't care if it's Louis Vuitton. So, you know, that's the reason why I don't even go that route, you know, unless, you know, I want to get a Louis Vuitton bag that I can take with me when I'm going on a road trip. <laughs> But anyway, y'all, so I got the vacay in the green. I purchased the two that they had on sale. Um, So one was the 20-something inch spinner. I'll put it on the screen. And the large one I know is the 28-inch spinner. I'm going to put a clip in so you'll see them side by side. So here we are. Here are the two pieces from VK that you couldn't see on screen. So this one, the larger one here is the 28 and then the smaller one here is, I want to say 20 inch, 24. I'll put it on the screen. I'm not too sure, but um, yeah. I was looking to see if it says on here. Nope, I don't see it. But yeah, these are my new travel pieces. So hopefully they won't damage these. These, you guys, are item five and six. And so yeah, that was it. That was my six items that I picked up from the sale. And I was so upset with myself because there was one other thing that I lost that I wanted to replace. And I totally forgot all about that. And it's okay. The anniversary sale will come again and they'll be on sale again because those items are on every sale. And it was the little cubic zirconia earrings. I had lost one of them. Another reason why I don't buy really, really, really expensive earrings and jewelry, Cartier, Van Cleef, and Arpels. I can adore those from afar because I know I will be mad at myself if I lose one of those. And yes, I'm that girl that loses things. So I had one of those little pair of earrings on my list to get and totally forgot. And when I remembered, I went online just to see, because it was before the sale ended, to see if they had them and they were all sold out. So it's okay. I have enough earrings to wear here. I'm not going to go crazy if I don't have one. And plus, I have some in another size. They're just bigger. I just wanted that same size again because it's like the perfect one. Um, so, yeah, that was it, you guys. That is all that your girl picked up from the Nordstrom sale. I am so sorry I got through this late. I know you guys had tons of sales to see anyway, and mine 
wasn't so interesting this year. <laughs> At least that's how I felt. I was like, why even show them? You know, you didn't even get a lot of stuff. So, but if you enjoyed it anyway, you guys give me a thumbs up. That lets me know that you still wanted to watch it and you're still here for me. Um, and I thank you guys for that so, so much. I am just so thankful to have you guys in my life, especially when I get nice messages. Like I got one yesterday that just like so warmed my heart um, in the comment section. And it just said, we missed you. Glad to have you back. And I was just like, oh, they really care. <laughs> so it made me feel so good, you guys. So thank you for that. You do brighten up my day. I love to read comments, you guys. I swear I do. So, you guys, as always, thank you so, so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Love you. These shelving units wrap all the way around, if you can see that, you guys. So, you are just seeing a little glimpse when I'm filming a video. This right here is just my dressing room. This is not my master bedroom closet. So this just holds all of my accessories and makeup in here. Um, and this is just always where I film as well. But I really need to do some cleaning with my master bedroom closet and get rid of so many things, you guys. So yeah, that is going to be what I'm going to be into very soon.